Today we're going to be talking about wars and war ban and how to wage wars and the rewards you get from this and how beneficial this is. So the most important thing in the game right now is Star Chrome. If you go up here, this is Star Chrome. Everybody knows this is how you get your blueprints, you know, upgrade your weapons and so on, make your full builds. Um, when it comes to wars, really the only like big benefit that there is is getting Star Chromes. Um, you can get Stardust from like... Um, I guess the strongholds or the frontiers they call it um, that you obtain um, you get stardust from it but this is the most important thing right here is this leaderboard this is a new thing in the third phase I think we're in right now and if you go to season rewards right here this ranking is giving you star chrome and then it gives you these chests um, the emissary crates chance to receive season exclusive sets like swift ranger and nobility series weapon skins among the precious rewards so you get weapon skins and stuff pretty cool but the main thing you're gonna want is star chrome so we participated in our first war last night and we won the frontier that we were attacking and now we're in sixth place and that puts us in the position to get 3500 star chrome everybody on the server who's on the ranking gets star chrome and chess but the higher the ranking um, the more star chrome and chess you get so we're in a four to six now So we're gonna get a decent amount. We're gonna get 1,500 more than everybody that's ranked 13 and beyond so that's really good so At the end of every phase, I believe you get your rewards for your ranking. So if we go back to it It says right here. It ends in one days. This is our ranking. This is our points ranking rewards reach level 20 to claim so I believe once this is over, you can claim these rewards. So it's not based on like the entire season, you know, at the end right here, season uh, phase six. I'm pretty sure it's based off the phase. So this phase, we're gonna be rank six. We're gonna get these rewards. The next phase after that, there's gonna be more rewards. You can see right here, 4,800 and then four of these. This is different from phase three. So it seems different. Uh, for phase six, there's nothing here. So. We finessed it. This ends in one day, and then the next bidding ends in one day in five hours. So we're going to be rank six, and we're going to get the star chrome for this phase. So that was perfect timing, and we got it, and uh, we got it at the last, at the very last second. So for the next phase, for everybody who's like in phase three, like we are for the next phase, make sure you guys try to like um, finesse a frontier, try to get it last minute at least, or something. Just do your best, like make a strategy and try to get in that top uh, top five. You would want to get to like top four, top five, top six to get the extra star chrome. Um, that should be your goal because the more star chrome you have, the more weapon blueprints you can buy or roll and uh, you can store up your equipment. If we go here to our uh, blueprints. So if you left click on the weapon, as you can see here, you need blueprints for this, so like you need extra stuff, you put this in and it upgrades and it puts stars on your uh, blueprints. So it makes your gun that you craft stronger. So it's stronger than it already is. I have a helmet right here that's three star you see. This has 589 HP. And then if I look at this one, I have the glitch where it's like disappearing. Um, this has 563 HP. So this has more HP because it's starred up more, so it's stronger. Um, you see right here, this is an example putting in the blueprints like I upgrade it, enhance it, make it stronger. So yeah, if you have a complete build and you have extra star chrome, you want to start up your stuff and keep your build going. Or if you want to try out other builds or if you messed up a build that you have and you want to get other things, um, other gears and guns and stuff, this is your way to get extra star chrome besides the purifying. I mean, personally, I'm using the Frost Vortex. I don't really like it. Um, it's strong in PVE. PVP is not really, it's a support build for PVP. And um, I really do need to switch this build. I don't like it. Um, so I myself need to buy um, different gears. Like I'm going to go for probably a more sniper build. Or maybe a shotgun type build. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to switch to like just a sniper focus build. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, so good luck with the wars guys. Good luck with your war bands. Make sure you get those star chromes. They're important. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna play a little um, short snippet of the war that we had. We actually beat the um, the war band that we beat. We beat them really fast. We did it within six minutes, and we destroyed their whole entire base when we attacked them. 
Um, so I'm gonna show you like a short, like a shorter version of it. Just like cut out all like the running around and the you know the yapping and all that stuff. Me and my warband. I'm um, just gonna show you guys like the action. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Learned something new. And yeah, have a good day. Uh, they found me back here. I still have, I'm still back here, like, breaking it.